Hi, so today I'm going to take you through using Crotos Studio in Pro Tools and highlight some of the um, workflows that can be really helpful for professionals, particularly working in post-production. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new stereo instrument track and add Crotos Studio to my session. Let's find it from the menu here under Instrument and add it to my session. Okay, so the first thing we'll look at is the multi-channel output from the plugin. Um, in terms of multi-channel output, I'm meaning not Atmos or surround support, but more um, getting stems out of the plugin as it generates ambiences or really any of these other use cases. Um, all of the presets are configured so that no matter which of them you're using, you will always get stems of each part of the design that you're really doing. So um, let's take a look at the Suburbs preset here to demonstrate. So as um, soon as I load this preset, it starts to generate this environment. I can then use the XYs here to balance the likelihood of dogs being introduced into that environment, for example, turn down the birds, turn up the traffic, all this type of stuff. So I'm just kind of setting um, the parameters for this environment as it's generated. And this can last either a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes. Um, and as soon as we're done here, just with this particular way of working, I can stop and pick up the recording and drag it to um, a stereo track. So as soon as I've done that, I can use this in my session straight away. Um, let's say this was already really, really helpful to me. It had exactly the right feel I needed um, and that straightened my scene really quickly. All right, so something that's gonna be probably a little more helpful at this stage is the actual um, bouncing of the stems from this as it's generating. So I've got a selection of audio tracks here. All I need to do is set the input of each of these audio tracks to a different core engine from the plugin. So let's do that now. Each audio track is now receiving from core engines one, two, four. Um, if I arm these tracks and um, start them going, once I start the plugin outputting again, what we should find is that we'll see the stems print directly to those audio tracks that we've set up. So now we're getting dogs, kids, birds, traffic out on different discrete audio uh, tracks. So this is going to be really, really helpful for um, responding to feedback, integrating these stems perhaps with other elements of, amp of the ambience or the mix, and it gives you a lot more control and makes the whole workflow of the studio really, really powerful. So if I stop this now, we'll see that we've got individual stems of the birds, the traffic, the kids, and the dogs on our timeline right away. So that's a really, really powerful feature. Um, this can apply to pretty much any, any other workflow that we um, that we do in the plugin as well. So if I load a different preset as well, um, and I'm just gonna move these along just a tiny bit. So if I use a different preset with the same workflow, so again, if I'm recording, we'll see that our hit the scream, the bram, and the pulses all come out on different stems. So this means that Crotto Studio can integrate really beautifully into your uh, existing ways of working. Um, and you can use this as a way of generating content really, really fast that can be part of other things you're already designing. Um, and this is really open to you right now through the, through the use of this feature. So something else that's really, really cool and a really, really fast way of working is the use of the audio suite version. So if I highlight a section of this audio track here, let's say I have a scene that lasts exactly this duration. Um, I can load Crotos Studio on as a audio suite plugin. So I load it as an instrument, but on uh, the on the audio track, um, and we'll print directly to this region. So I'm going to load up a weather preset, uh, maybe the wind in the trees. So let's say we've got a scene where we're, we're in an exterior, we've got a storm, or we maybe even got some light wind. So if I preview this preset now. It's at a low intensity, so I'm going to turn it up a little bit, and I'm just going to set them set the balance of these windy tree-like elements. Kind of feel like it should be maybe just that intensity. Okay, cool, so I stopped the preview um, and then I'm just gonna print with render. And what we're doing now is we're gonna be rendering directly to that um, quite long section of my timeline that I selected there. And so really fast way of getting um, this layer of ambience straight on there uh, from a customized ambience that we use the plugin to do. Okay, so there we go. So now we've got a our wind that we printed using audio suite really really fast so let's say for this first section of the scene let's print another wind layer over the another just this the short section here so i'll load up credit studio again i will search in my search field here for wind see what else we get um i'm going to use the urban preset now the urban wind preset and i'm going to see how this complements what we just laid down so I quite like this balance here of wind and, and the sort of backyard 
like that, hear that flapping of the, um, almost a kind of flagpole thing a little bit more. Okay, cool, so I like that. I'm going to stop the preview and I'll render that. And that's going to render now to the selected region of the second track. And very, very quickly, we've made like these custom layers of our environment and got them into our session using Audio Suite. So particularly if you have longer periods of time that you want to add these things to, this can be really, really fast way of working.